Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm going to take a look at the Green Amber Guitar. This one, uh, as you can see, it's a PRS copy clone thing inspired by. And yeah, let's go through it. Uh, let's start at the top. We have uh, unbranded Grover looking tuners, super stable. Fantastic, amazing. Actually, I prefer these over actual Grovers that I've tried. So yeah, that's how good they are. We have a mahogany neck. And we have, as with other green guitars, a volute. So yeah, you don't have to worry about the neck break or the headstock breaking off. And we have something that looks like rosewood, but it isn't. Uh, green guitars, uh, the name isn't just um, referring to an old guitar player. Uh, it's referring to their view of, uh, uh, I don't know, environmental issues. So uh, besides this guitar being uh, completely carbon dioxide compensated, for every production step and transport step. Uh, they are actually trying to make it without uh, endangering any rainforest woods. So gone is the rosewood. And this is what they call uh, rose maple wood. And uh, yeah, much like the Harley Bentons, it's uh, treated maple. So yeah, made to look brown. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice with a plain maple fretboard on this one? It would look fantastic in my opinion. Uh, jumbo frets. And uh, yeah, it's a, a, as a PRS style guitar, it's a 25 inch uh, scale length. So it's right in between a Gibson and a Strat or a Fender guitar. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to the playability of it. We have a mahogany back, maple top, as you should expect on these kind of guitars. And this amber burst, a very reddish. And in the back, very amber-like burst. Uh, amber-like color, I should say. It's not a burst in the back. Uh, you can see in the back there are some flaws in the wood. Uh, and this guitar is, uh, well, you can basically buy, I don't know, two or three of these for the same price as a PRS SE, for, for instance. So you get the idea what you should expect. But it's a solid maple top with a flame maple veneer, and it's a thick maple top, actually. You can see it here. And we have two humbuckers, and they are green's own, or what should you call it? They are labeled Destiny CNC Wound. I don't know if that's a brand or it's a production method. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently they are wound, wound by uh, machines, which I would say is a good thing when it comes to... Uh, this price range, you don't want pickups to be handmade when you're in this price range. It would be such an uneven product. Yeah, volume tone and the three-way switch, very much like a PRS. And a solid metal output housing and a very good output jack as well. Really good. And look at this. I'll get back to this when it comes to playability. Um, yeah, the hardware seems really good, actually. The bridge is not the usual Chinese stuff you find. Uh, it feels and looks very much more solid. And, uh, yeah. Altogether, I give it an 8 for materials and hardware. And there isn't much to complain about. If you know me from other videos, I don't know about making the neck out of mahogany. Of course, that's what everybody wants. It would probably be a bad economical decision to make it out of something else. But why not maple? 
it's much more solid and I don't know. Since you're yeah, you're making something that's not a PRS guitar exactly, why not change some things like that? <sighs> okay, build quality. It's one solid guitar, I can tell you that. Uh, I can't find any flaws. The frets are amazing, the neck is great. Every part seems to sit where it's supposed to be and... Yeah. It's a very solid build. Uh, the problem, if I should mention one, is I don't know how you make these kind of guitars when it's a see-through finish. I suppose you paint it with that finish and then just remove, because this is, has a like the reveal. Instead, instead of uh, binding, it has a reveal binding, so it shows the maple top actually. And it's really fancy and it really looks good on the sides. It actually looks better than the PRS SC. If you see my video, I wasn't happy about how they had made that. The color was bleeding into the maple. And the only part where it's not super good is here at the top of the neck. And I've seen this in other PRS clones or even the PRS SC. Apparently it's really hard to get it even and straight, so it's, yeah. These are super minor things. Really are. But I have to point them out. Yeah, that's it. So it gets an 8 for build quality durability. Again, a maple neck would be make more sense for durability, but yeah. They done the best with it. The volute is a really good thing. And yeah. It's a well-built guitar. Playability. Sorry, playability, yes. We have a very thin neck. It's I would say it's thinner than a PRS star guitar, and it's very flat. So um I don't know. It feels very modern. Like a, I don't know, modern Fender style guitar, Squire guitar. It's really slim and yeah, it's a super fast guitar. If you're into that kind of thing. And this, how they've joined the neck to the body. And I mean, the PRS <laughs> design is such a flaw <laughs> where you have this bulk of wood here for no reason at all. This is much more. Uh, this is much more smart, I think. The way it should be done, and uh, really helps. It's nothing hindering you when you're going up to the high frets on this guitar. So yeah, and the neck, as it is, rather slim, and uh, everything's made well. The frets are fantastic, and yeah, it's a rather flat radius, twelve inch maybe. Uh, it plays fantastically. The only thing I have to complain about when it comes to playability is the finish of the neck. Since this has a gloss finish all over the neck and yeah, you know how that works, it will get sticky. So that's the only thing. Besides that, it's a fantastic guitar. It feels so solid. It's something about it and it just, you just want to play it. Playability gets an 8. Electronics, well, this isn't the first green guitar I've reviewed, and uh, the basic only complaint I had with the LP Pearl that I've reviewed before uh, was the electronics. And more specifically, the tone knob. And on this guitar, it actually works. So, yeah, good work there, green guitars. So we have a volume that's perfect, solid, works really good. We have a tone knob that works and it is very solid and works. And a three-way switch that feels very solid and works. And upper jack that's really good. So, and the pickups seem perfect. So, nothing to complain about. Give it a nine for electronics. Okay, let's hear it then. As usual, I will start with a clean sound. <laughs>
Then you add some overdrive and it sounds like this. Finally, some high gain.
It gets a nine for sounds. I think these pickups and this guitar as a whole sounds fantastic. Yeah. And you should know by now that I'm not a humbucker guy, ideally. But these pickups have all the characteristics I'm looking for in a pickup. They have, they are, I don't know, they cut through and they have this really nice tonality to them and yeah, really makes the guitar shine. So I love them. Uh, value, it gets a nine. And uh, yeah. As I said, this guitar is relatively cheap, cheap, affordable. And it's, I mean, the build quality of it and the feel of it. That's what I said when I reviewed my other green guitar. It feels expensive. I don't know how they do it. It just feels well made, solid and not at all like an affordable guitar. So, yeah. High value, all right. This is a really good talk. professional guitar, in my opinion. And finally, altogether, it gets an 8.5, which might be one of the highest numbers ever I've given a guitar. And you should remember, I'm not endorsed by any guitar company. So I'm doing this for free and uh, I have no <laughs> connection with green guitars. Basically, this is a really good guitar. What can I say? That's it. This guitar was a loan from uh, the wonderful guys at Guitar Rehab. So do me a favor. Go. There's a link below to their YouTube channel. Go there and subscribe. They really need you subscribe to the channel they're really nice people and yeah they do really good guitar reviews in my opinion so support them yeah, they're up and coming and thanks a lot jesper and jonas for making this possible yeah this has been the swedish guitar nerd uh, reviewing the green amber uh, prs style guitar hope you found this useful See you soon. Bye.